hi beautiful people how are you all today happy sunday my name is chiso i'm a permanent resident based here in regina saskatchewan canada i make videos about my life as a new immigrant here in regina saskatchewan and if you're new here welcome to the family thank you so much i hope you're not just passing by hope you're coming to stay i really do hope that and also for my existing subscribers i've got mad love for you all thank you for the support i see you all i see you all and happy mother's day to all my amazing mothers that have been watching my channel you guys have really really been amazing you should pat yourself on the back and say yeah i am great i am wonderful i am beautiful we don't actually look like what we always go through right in today's video i'm going to be sharing my experience about depression depression is it real here in canada yes i think that some levels to this depression no it's not the one that will make you to go and jump into the saskatchewan lake or jump into the um what do they call waskana lake sorry so there are levels to this depression right mine did not actually touch me to go and jump into the waskana lake it was actually doing me if i made the right decision are you sure we will not go back to nigeria looks like our life in nigeria was way better than here so that was how my own happened to me but i'm going to tell you guys the full story so please do sit back grab a chill of um pop or soda and let's get right into it welcome guys thank you so much so um when i nearly landed here with my family with my husband and my three daughters um of course we didn't bring our house from nigeria to canada we didn't bring um most of our properties to canada we only brought our proof of funds and then with our food items i didn't even bring my clothes like as a fashion designer yes i had a lot of clothes i had to sell all of them i didn't bring my clothes to canada so whatever you see me wearing i made them here or i bought them here so um we only brought food items because yes i was very conscious i was very intentional about food items because i know this is one thing i don't want to be going back and forth with for clothes yes i'm a fashion designer i can easily design my clothes here right but for food items i know they are going to be pretty expensive here in canada so i was very intentional about bringing in food items so if i like almost all our luggages were food items so when we came into this country we came with so many hopes so many expectations you know as you are coming into a new country now as you and canada for that matter like you can't even compare now so coming from nigeria we are like once we come here we're gonna get a job we're going to start you know building our life earning in dollars you know all the juicy things coming and all that yeah we had those expectations and then when we landed we have already paid for our house um that we were living in as of that time not this current one the previous one so we paid from nigeria we had um somebody um that helped us like um paid for a house and everything so it's not like we were coming and we didn't have anywhere to stay we've already paid for an apartment and so when we got into the apartment it was an empty apartment there was absolutely nothing i made a video about that as well and then um we were able to also they um send them some money and they help us to get like a mattress and then they um, they were also able to get us a bunk for the kids and then that was basically it that was how our life started here so um we started um by little by little trying to you know put one or two things in place in the house good at the thing that most canadian houses they come with your refrigerator they come with the stove the gas cooker they come some come with the microwaves some come with dishwasher some come with the laundry as well in house depending on the apartment you're going for and also depending on your budget right so we started off and then we made up our mind that unlike some people i've had a couple of discussions with some people when they come in they just say okay i want to settle for like some months it could be six months let me try and settle in do my sin do everything try to know my way around before i can start applying for jobs my day my advice is that once you are landing in fact as of that night that you are landing i, I might just allow you to sleep your first sleep but after that when get on your laptop and start searching for jobs start applying immediately yes start applying immediately because you never can tell start connecting start talking to people start looking for referrals 
that connecting networking very important because the truth of the matter if you're waiting to settle in you will never settle in we were going to one year now like um 26 will make us one year here in Canada, 26th of March will make us one year here in Canada, but yet we are still settling in. We haven't settled in fully. I can still refer myself to as a new immigrant, yes. So don't start killing the time and say, okay, let's settle, um, let's wait um, until I'm settled. Because the more you are waiting, the more you are burning your proof of fault, you are burning your POF, and you don't want that. That should be like a source of backup cash for you, an extra, um, like cash flow for you in case of emergency it shouldn't be something that you should flinch on and start burning it because what if at the end of the day the time you were hoping you will get a job and that job doesn't come and you have finished eating off your proof of words i mean be here don't wait like you all can agree with me like my subscribers that are already here in canada you all can agree with me bills don't wait for nobody here okay so you have to plan you see this thing that is called money you have to make plans for it because if you don't make plans for it the money will make its own plans right so um when we came we started applying for jobs and then me that um i didn't really have uh, much of um experience back home i only did um i only worked once in nigeria and then i was focused more on my sewing business yes i had my job i was doing then but i was focused more on my business my fashion designing i have my shop and then um coming here i'm um, trying to put all my resume together yes it was quite a whole lot because for sure our resume back home is different from theirs here you have to write all the cover letters like you know selling yourself marketing yourself telling them the hiring managers why you are good for them. it was really a whole lot it was very very strange to me and then i was applying for a job and then i was um like some interviews i was going for and then they would turn me down like some interviews they would turn me down i, I think they also like um have their patterns of like um answering like interview questions so i was very relaxed answering like normal and at the end of the day i don't get the job and then we were eating from our proof of funds my husband as of then hasn't gotten a job and this is somebody that was doing well in nigeria right and um he wasn't paying for any house rent because we were living in our own house and then he's coming here even looking for the lesser job compared to what he was doing in nigeria and they were not forthcoming and he was getting rejected my personally like i started feeling depressed i was crying i was moody i was not cheerful like i know that there was at times that i really took it out on my husband so they forgive me i really took it out on him because i'm like dude are you sure we made the right decision are you sure coming to this country are you sure this was actually like the right decision i mean how come we're here and the way we're living back home looks like it's better than here no jobs and then we're busy digging into our proof of funds like and he was worried because he was so scared that he didn't want us to pass certain um limits on our proof of funds so what he did, he immediately went to go and lock it in in the um, tax free savings account so that we can assess it for at least one year. And then that was where the pressure and the hustling and the ginger started. Your babe started applying. And then I was, I now started off my ECBB program. I had so much expectation, so much hope in that ECBB program. Yes, I was doing the ECBB program, but then I wasn't getting paid oh my god for like two months i was hustling for job i was applying i was going to offices with my hard copy resume i was submitting them and then when i go they'll be like oh i'm so sorry um we're not hiring can you please um go to our website and check out like if there are any openings there please try and apply online i'll go to like mcdonald's i'll go to like um burger king i'll go there i'll be dropping my resume i'll tell them okay i'm looking for a job and these are like um, they are restaurants that eat free fast food as we call them back home and i'm submitting my resume hoping that they can employ me and then they'll tell me okay drop it if anything comes up we'll give you a call for where nobody they call me and i was so 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 devastated because this is me in nigeria like i haven't stayed a week and i don't earn 
like i don't earn money like money was always in my hand like coming here and it looks like i'm not earning like the money no they enter the thing was i was so furious i was so angry so many things going on my mind i was so sober i wasn't eating well i wasn't um networking i wasn't connecting with people i'm like what is going on i mean god did, did you bring us here just like moses and the children of israel israelites right did you bring us here just to abandon us here in front of the red sea do you want pharaoh and his people to kill us do you want this red sea to swallow what do you want us to do ah it was a whole lot at that point it was a whole lot and then i was always um watching um youtube trying to get answers trying to get other people's experience but it was not forthcoming actually it wasn't forthcoming sin sincerely i will read the bible i'll be looking for answers and i'm like i mean you have left nigeria you came here right and then going back home, what are you going to tell people back home? I enter Canada. It'd be like, say, village people follow you. Now you can't go, <laughs> go back, Nigeria. Right? Like, I didn't know what to do. And then you traveled, your family met so many expectations. Oh, wow, they are going to do well. They're going to do well. Please, they can look back, you know, take care of, like, um, family members back home and all that. It, so many expectations from people, right? From family members and then you're here you're struggling the world even as low as a minimum wage job was very difficult to get mm. that time it felt like my world was crashing but then i started my ecbb program i kept on doing it our coach thank you rachel she kept encouraging us she kept telling us that at least even if that what we hope for or what we're looking to achieve we might not really get 100 percent of it but one thing that we are going to take out from this program is the canadian experience which was a major challenge like sometimes when you apply they look at you it takes the grace of god i mean there are some people that have applied and they got a job right without the canadian experience stuff in their resume but then there are some people once they look at your resume they don't see any canadian experience it's, it's a problem they will just say, unfortunately, um, we have gone ahead with another candidate. And that is the rejection mail that you will get. And it was really killing me at that point. But then Rachel Lawako, she kept encouraging us and telling us one thing you're going to take out from this program is the Canadian work experience. And then that kept me going. And she was like, even there is going to be a job placement, which when you go for that job placement, hopefully if you do well there, the company or the organization wherever it is that your place can retain you so i was looking forward to that so then i started off the program with so much expectations i put in my best this was the program is a school like from morning to evening we are on the computer we are on the laptop we are studying we are doing assessments we are writing we are doing exams you know we are discussing about what culture we are learning so many things resume how to interview questions how to overcome the fear how to overcome the fidgeting during an interview how to look how to maintain eye contact with your hiring manager you know so many things it built my confidence that at the cost of that um job placement i was applying other places and before I could even finish that my job placement, I got a job with another um with another company, right? With another organization. So then I was looking forward if I could get retained in that particular organization that I was working, but I had to even shift the previous one that I got. I just shifted the um because I didn't want to put all my eggs in one basket of course as a nice girl I am. So I just told them, please, they should shift my resumption date. So at least let me know my fate for here, right? So that was how it happened. But then I did not get retained in the place I did my job placement. So I had to fall back on that job, which I got, which was pretty amazing. It was not a minimum wage job whatsoever. And then when I got it, I'm like, God, 
is it how you are like i'm saying it i can tell the story now for you to listen but as of then i was not smiling i was not wearing makeup i was not i was moody i didn't want to have any kind of conversation with anybody i was asking myself question did we actually who sent me come here like those are the questions i was asking myself but right now i can look back and i can tell you that god has been faithful yes god has been faithful to us i can look back and i can tell you that we are not where we used to be when we newly landed and i can look back and tell you that that remaining proof of force that was locked in the past um free savings account the tfsa is still there we didn't touch it and we still have our savings going on right now from the current jobs that we are doing god did not fail us god did not abandon us it is a phase so i am telling you new immigrants coming in those that are yet to come those that are already here experiencing similar thing because i have like um my husband's friend tell me like the husband is also complaining that the wife is feeling depressed they just nearly landed and she hasn't gotten a job yet that she's feeling so more depressed i need to talk to her because he knew i had similar experience so when you are going through the, there is nothing strange like we have also been through that there was a time i was sharing this with one of my colleagues and then he was like yeah the same thing happened to me last last everybody could drop the breakfast last last you could reach everybody but then we are not praying for it to reach everybody but just know that it is a phase when you start feeling like that just know that god is working out something for you just know that something great it is coming don't start feeling like as you have arrived canada it is time to burn it is time to shop all the designers for you to paper whoever you want to paper if you have it if you have whatever that is beating drums in for you inside the bush by all means please dance to it every fingers are not what equal so do you but then if you know that you are like me that is financially disciplined then know how much you came to the country with and that you are not here to live the la vida local lifestyle that you are here to offer so please and please don't get discouraged don't cry don't take it out on your partner don't take it out on your kids it's a phase it will pass this is canada canada is a land filled with milk and honey for others to also be sucking in from this um drinking from this milk and licking from this honey you too we also drink and lick from the honey your case will not be different so this is me encouraging you today stay strong be positive keep applying for that job don't stop you might get thousands and thousands of rejection um emails don't even buy them don't look at them keep applying until that one that is meant for you will say yes thank you guys for watching my video i hope you enjoyed today's video see you guys in my next video